3D printed thongs. 3D printed thongs. How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse. And what I have here is something kind of special. This is a pair of customized 3D printed thongs or flip flops, footwear. Uh, this is sent to me from a company called Retraction Footwear here in Australia. Brett over there was kind enough to make a customized pair for me and send it across for me to try out and check out. Now, unfortunately, there was a few delays in this getting to me, uh, mostly on my end, but also with the world around us right now. It did take quite a while to arrive. And unfortunately, now we're in the heart of winter. So I will be giving these a shot, but keep in mind that it's actually freezing and not currently thong or flip-flop weather. But let's start with unboxing this because Brett obviously cares quite a lot about packaging. This is a really nicely packaged product. The top and bottom parts are 3D printed. There's a nice cardboard tube in the middle. And even these little coverings are actually 3D printed TPU, which is obviously a nod towards the product being printed from flexible filament. So let's see what we need to do here. So I assume you get this end here. Pull it out. Unthread it. There we go. Ta-da! <laughs> and this is a pair of 3D printed thongs, or flip-flops. So why would you bother 3D printing footwear in the first place? Well, the whole idea is for customizability. Beyond just the color which you can customize, the thing about shoes is everyone's feet are different. And I've always used this as a good example of the power of 3D printing during my 3D printing classes is like, why do we have sizing of shoes? Why does it, how does it make sense to have like heaps of size 10s in a warehouse when someone comes in and they need like a 10.3 or something and they're like, oh, well, you either fit into a shoe too small or you fit into a shoe too big. Well, the idea of 3D printing is you can actually customize the size and the shape of the footwear, but you're not designing the shoe from scratch. You're designing it based off a template. And this is a concept known as mass customization where you have one product and then you tweak it in subtle different ways to make it perfect for the end user and then make that tweaked product and send it to that user. And there are companies out there that have made mass customization work. And a fantastic example of that is Invisalign, where they actually will get a mold of your teeth and 3D print a special bracer sort of thing. I don't know the terms for it, orthodontic stuff. And then it's designed specifically for that user to slowly align their teeth. And that's done using 3D printing technology and it's called mass customization. But let's go back to these shoes. So what can you customize with your retraction footwear? Well, as I said, you could do the color, you can change the strap color, you can do the sole color. Then obviously you can customize your size so they fit your feet. But then we get into the realm of customization that you often don't get access to. For example, width. You might have wide or narrow feet and therefore you want your shoe to fit. So you have the option of changing the width here as well. You also enter how much you weigh, which means they can change the density of the thong to support your weight correctly without sagging too much or being too stiff. And finally, which is probably the most important thing, is the arch support. So a good shoe needs arch support so you don't get flat feet and doesn't, doesn't hurt to walk around for a long time. And you can buy like inserts for shoes, but you can't really do inserts for thongs. So I really do think the idea of a customized arch support is a real power move for 3D printed footwear. I think that's something we're gonna see more in the future. I know a lot of people have been working on it for many years, so I haven't really seen it in production, but that's a really cool idea indeed. So let's have a quick look at the quality of these 3D printed thongs. First impressions, really, really nice. Whatever machine that uh, they're using over at Retraction Footwear, it's done a really good job on flexible filaments. The, the finish is clean and it feels tough. It feels robust. I don't feel like I'm gonna break it by flexing around, which is good because I will be giving this a stress test. The strap does feel a little bit, a little bit flimsy. I feel like that might be the point that breaks first, but I mean, that's usually the point that breaks on normal thongs, but keeping in mind the price difference is quite severe here. Normal thongs might cost you five to $10 Australian. This is about a hundred. So these are fully customizable 3D printed thongs. There's not, it's not the same category, but they do need to at least be as durable as the cheap ones. So, as I said, it's the middle of winter, but I do need to give these a proper test. So I'm gonna slap them on and go do my day, and then I'll come back to you at the end of it and let you know my thoughts. You're a complete twat, aren't you? Yep.
This is one of the weirdest videos I've done for a very long time. So I've been wearing these retraction footwear 3D printed thongs for all of my errands today. And I have some thoughts and I'm gonna be comparing them to my regular uh, non 3D printed flip flops. These are just cheap foam flip flops. They're like $5 a pair, $10 a pair or whatever. Um, they're very worn out, they're foam and I've had them for quite a long time. So, are they comfortable? Well, for the most part, yes. Uh, you can walk around them in them fine. Uh, they have a good amount of flex to them. They didn't really kink, which I was concerned about. I thought with a 3D printed lattice inside, they might sort of kink and buckle in one spot. They didn't seem to do that. It became very clear that these have like a infill matrix, which means the flexibility and squishiness of the 3D printed flip flop is very different to walk on than the foam regular flip-flop. It has a certain feel to it. I can't quite describe it. It's a little bit more firm, but it's still springy and comfortable to walk in, which is pretty cool. Now I do have some complaints and that's mostly to do with these straps. So if you look at the strap on the regular flip-flops, it's quite wide, it's quite stiff and quite conforming. Whereas the strap on the 3D printed flip-flop is very thin and the way it's been printed is flat on the bed and then folded over. But this means that there's quite a lot of pressure in certain points along my foot at the front and it actually did leave some red marks and rubbing, which that was fairly noticeable after walking for quite some time. Uh, the straps are a bit too thin and they're probably the main point that needs to be thickened up and made more comfortable because when you walk in flip flops, all of the force is on that point where your, your big toe is. So that's something that probably needs to be thickened up and improved. These, these ones are a bit too flimsy. Grip was another concern. I mean, regular thongs don't really have that much grip to begin with, uh, but these are actually not too bad. I thought it would be really difficult and slippery, but on the surface I walked on totally fine. I wouldn't try to walk on wet, slippery rocks on the coast with these, because you'll probably go on for an adventure. But for, for concrete, asphalt, car parks, uh, shopping centers, everything I went to, I had no issues with grip. Something that was unexpected was the texture. Um, I actually found it quite nice. Uh, it's just a, it's a side effect of the 3D printing process. You have layers on layers, but it actually means your feet grip to it quite nicely and actually feels, feels better in my opinion than the foam. So obviously on the foam, they've added texture to help you grip into it. But the, the, because this is 3D printed, the layer lines actually help. Now let's talk uh, price. This is going to be the biggest sticking point for this product. So these are Australian made, they're made bespoke and they're made with mass customization properties. So that means each one is made for you with the settings that you chose, but they cost $120 Australian each, which is very expensive for a pair of thongs. Now it's not impossibly expensive for footwear because shoes can cost a lot more than 120 bucks, but for a pair of thongs, when you're comparing them to these $10 specials, if that, uh, it's a lot to it's a lot to pay for which means they'll have to accomplish a few things one They'll have to last longer than the foam ones They'll have to be better for your posture which normal thongs really are n notoriously bad for so that's one thing the arch support definitely has in its favor They have to be more desirable and look who's looking at people's thongs when they're at the beach probably no one So I think that's gonna be a bit of a hard stretch here and finally they have to be more comfortable as well and Quite frankly, these are actually more comfortable at the moment because of this strap. If this strap was improved and made a bit more comfortable, then they would be exactly the same. The weight is actually roughly the same. They're a little bit heavier and a little bit stiffer than the foam ones, but not by much. I mean, if you're used to wearing shoes, these are lighter than our regular shoes. So that's not a big deal in that department. But hey, it is really cool seeing a product like this actually on the market. And I do appreciate Retraction Footwear sending me a pair to test out. And if you'd like to buy one of these yourself, you absolutely can. There's a link in the description to go buy your own 3D printed thong, but full disclosure, um, they haven't paid for this video. They sent me a pair free of charge to try out and see what I thought. And that's what this video has been all about. So if you enjoyed this video here on Makers Views, maybe consider subscribing. This one's been a bit of a weird one, but I had fun filming it. I look forward to seeing you again very shortly. Catch you later, guys. Bye.